Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart, joined by Dave Koken at Dave Koken on Twitter and Adam Trigger at Top Flight SI, both of wagertalk.com. We're headed out to the Pac-12 Oregon State off that close loss to USC. Mm-hmm. Now a 10-point underdog in Provo, Utah. Total 55, some 54 and a halfs popping up on the odd screen here. Dave, this total's come down quite a bit, but I'm looking at the dog in this one. Shocker, I know. Uh, I think if the situation was a little better, I'd be with you. The problem is Oregon State's going to have to get off the canvas after a really tough loss last week. I mean, that crowd was fired up, and it, it looked like they had USC. It looked like they had them, and they just couldn't stop at the end. Uh, Williams, who didn't have a good game, got it together when it mattered most, and it's tough to go on the road into a hostile atmosphere. Utah's got a very strong home field advantage, one of my highest HFAs in college football. So I think the game's close on paper, but I'm worried about the situation. The scheduling dynamics here, I think, favor Utah. So I'm going to have to lean to the Utes in this game to get there by a couple touchdowns. Won't make my card, but Utah would be, if you're asking me who I've got to bet here, it would be Utah. I do love that situational handicap. Adam, how are you looking at this one? I agree, and I know firsthand about that home field advantage. A really good friend of mine lived in Salt Lake City for years, and we went to numerous Utah games, and and that is a – it's an awesome atmosphere, great stadium. Um, So they definitely have a home field advantage, but they're going to have an advantage in this game with the matchup as well. So last week I talked about Oregon State struggling in the revenge spot. They got it done. They got the cover. It's only the second time they've covered – being on that side of the revenge in their last 13 times that, that, that it's come up. Um, but in the way they covered that game and the way they held USC to 17 points, they just had a really good game plan. And I don't think they're going to be able to game plan for Utah because Utah is so balanced offensively. So there's nothing Oregon State can do, in my opinion, on defense that Utah won't have a counter for offensively. The other thing here that, that tilts me toward the Utah side is Oregon State turns the ball over. And while Utah probably has the most notable turnover of the year, Cal, as you remember, throwing the interception at the goal line against Florida, Utah doesn't turn the ball over at all. And, you know, I think Utah's ability to take care of the football and mix up the run and pass, I just don't see how Oregon State stops that. So in the revenge spot, which Utah has been very good in, uh, of course, Oregon State handed them, I believe, their only Pac-12 loss of last season. I would have to look toward Utah here. And I think they're gonna I think they would I think they could run it up in this. I I would the only way I could play this would be to lay the points. I make this more like two touchdowns, more like 14. So I do see a little value on Utah in this game. All right, both of our Wager Talk experts say lay it or don't play it with the Utes. Make sure you guys head over to the Wager Talk YouTube channel and check out all of our other videos. 